Well, some pretty fancy machines were on display at the University of Waterloo this afternoon. Five engineering classes showed off their work in robotics. CTV's Joel Bowie went to take a look. So I'm a mediocre guitar player at best. Alex Kohler may not have perfect pitch, but he and his partner are pretty good engineers. They've designed an automatic guitar tuner. I put the, the pe this pickup arm in place to detect the string frequencies, and I just hit auto-tune. So I'm hit auto-tune. All right, and then I strum all the strings simultaneously, and it's going to turn the servo motors in here. It's just one of several creations shown off today at the University of Waterloo's Megatronic Symposium. These are all final year projects for the students, and they're about seven months in the making. But they've all chosen something that was of particular interest to them before that. The designers of this robot are tennis players, tired of having to pick up balls after practice. It has a webcam on the front running into a laptop, which uh, analyzes the uh, video, and it detects balls. And when it detects the balls, it just goes towards it and picks it up. It's really quite simple. The idea may be simple, but the engineering is not. The Megatronics School combines multiple engineering disciplines. When I was a kid, I always wanted to build a giant robot that would follow what I do. The crowd favorite today, a robotic leg, with military and industrial applications. It will amplify the amount of load that your leg is able to carry. So, for example, if we attach a load onto the side of this, that's say maybe 20 pounds, then you can just bend your leg forward or move it up and down. Your leg wouldn't be able to feel it. Instead, the sensor will sense the movement of your leg and move the frame with it, which carries the load. Heavy lifting made easy. Joel Bowie, CTV News, Waterloo.